The second key issue I wanted to explain is about why ASK, Academic Skills and Knowledge, is such an important module. It's a non-credit bearing module. It's four weeks at the beginning. Is it important? Yeah, I think it is. I actually think this is potentially, it holds the keys to success. If you know what it is that we're asking of you, you are far, far better able to then deliver it. For many of you, you may feel, well, I've done a degree and I've, I've perhaps even, for some of you, done a postgraduate degree. I suspect fewer of you will have done that by distance learning and fewer still will have done that at Leicester. So all of those are things that you need to learn and find out about. So ensuring you know what is expected of you is really important. Secondly, academic skills, just like any other skills, require practice. If you'd been an expert tennis player, for example, but you'd not played for 15 years, you probably wouldn't start by enrolling yourself in some tournament and going for an important match as your first fixture. You'd spend some time practicing first. That's what academic skills and knowledge module does as well. This gives you a safe environment in which you can practice and refresh those skills in a way that is not going to impact on a mark that leads to the final award of your degree. So this is the opportunity to be creative, to try out new approaches, to test different ways of doing things, to debate your ideas and to make absolutely the most of the opportunity, which will then enable you to hit the ground running when you get on to the first credit bearing modules, which will be coming up soon. It's also an opportunity to develop those relationships with other people that are going to be so important both for the enjoyment and for the learning experience as you move through the programme. I've mentioned about the study groups and the importance of working together in order to both enjoy and get the most out of your learning. There are also other people that you will be developing a relationship with. One of the key ones is your academic mentor. So, your study group tutor will usually be your academic mentor for the duration of the programme. And so getting to know them, getting in touch with them, them getting to know you, they will be there to support you, to provide guidance, to discuss study skills issues throughout the duration of the programme. Of course, occasionally, it may be that your academic mentor changes if they were on sabbatical, but basically you will always have somebody there who will be there to support you individually throughout your, your time on the programme. So, what have we covered so far on the module? Well, we've spent the first two weeks settling in and thinking a bit about our own learning experiences, our own learning preferences you will be beginning to have worked out how you can fit learning into your own schedule, where it, your study seems to work best, and beginning to develop the habit of study. And that's a really important thing to develop. In this module, we're asking you to dedicate at least 10 hours a week to studying. From the next modules, you'll be expected to dedicate 15 hours a week so getting into that habit now and building up the time that you spend on that is going to be helpful to you. We've also thought about the kinds of resources that are available to you and you will have taken a tour of the library and seen what's there. And that's another huge benefit of coming to a university like Leicester where we have the distance learning library and the library set up in such a way that there's an enormous amount of resources available for distance learners. So look at those videos, do the tutorials, look at what's there because there's a vast array of resources that you can draw on and will be expected to draw on for the duration of your studies. So we've explored a little bit about how to access that, what's there, what kind of questions you need to ask of the sources that you're using by all means ask questions and clarify any problems that you're having in accessing materials.
There's an opportunity to do that today, but there will also be opportunities within your study group and on Blackboard to look at those issues. We've also started to think last week about reading and taking notes, both of which seem probably pretty obvious from the outset. But I think you'll have seen that actually, for academic purposes, you're doing something quite specific. So you need to think about why am I reading this, what am I reading, and what do I want to take from it? And this idea of being an active reader and a critical reader is fundamental. Because actually, sometimes people think, well, that's fine. I won't worry too much about the bit which leads up to the assessment. It's the assessment that's important. Actually, the bit that leads up to the assessment, what sources you choose, how you read them, how you take notes from them, what you have to say as a result of them, all of that is what informs what will go into your assignment or into your exam essays or into any other form of assessment. It's that process of thinking and reflecting and engaging with the materials that will lead to really good marks at the end of a module. So we've looked at a little bit about what that means. Next week, we'll be thinking about critical analysis and critical thinking and what does that mean. As a means of demonstrating this and exploring this, we have a really interesting role play task and it works really well. Sometimes students at the beginning say to us, but why, why am I doing this? Afterwards, we have students saying, that was so useful. I've learned so much in the process. What we will be asking you to do is we have a story. It's the lobster tale that we will be presenting you with. And you will be split in your study groups into small stakeholder groups within that. And each of your, those groups will need to work together to put forward a position in relation to the story. It will all become much clearer next week, but needless to say, really, really worthwhile engaging in that and great fun. That preparation will also inform the seminar that you will have later on within your study group.